All right guys, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I use Mocha AE to superimpose my own billboard on some footage. So if you wanna learn how to superimpose footage over other footage and have it look realistic with perspective and rotation and scale using Mocha AE, then this tutorial is for you. Stick around guys, I think you're gonna like this one. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we have our project open and we have our assets. I've got a graphic here. This is the graphic that I'm going to be superimposing over uh, this graphic right here. So in order to do that, there's a few things that we have to do. First of all, you wanna trim your clip to wherever you just want to motion track. So I have my clip already trimmed, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the clip itself. I'm gonna go up to animation. I'm gonna go up to track in Boris FX and Mocha. I'm gonna go ahead and click Mocha icon and it's going to bring in my footage. And you can scrub through this to see where you want to start. I'm gonna go ahead and start right here at the very end, um, but it really doesn't matter it kind of matters depending on where your keyframe is and what the tracking you're doing, but I'm going to just do it at the end because I want everything to um, fit as, as well as possible. So, but you can test it and that's, it's pretty fast and pretty easy to do. So what I'm going to do is now that I have, um, I'm all the way over, I'm going to go ahead and click on the pen tool and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the corners of each of this billboard. So I'm clicking on the corners of each of the billboard. And then I'm gonna right click to finalize that. I'm gonna drag each of these blue squares so that the corners are completely square. If you can't see the square over here, just hold down X and it'll give you a little hand. You can drag, let go of X, pull that up. And then you can put hold down X again and you can get make sure that you get all of the red in your shot or on the keyframe that you're starting. Um, also make sure that you hit perspective on the track motion options. You wanna make sure that you get all of those selected. The next thing that you're gonna do is go to layer properties and go insert clip a 32 by 32 grid. This grid gives you the way that that image that you're gonna superimpose will look. So if I were to just track the data now, that's how it would look. It would be tracked flat, it's not perspective, it's not angled, it doesn't rotate, it's not gonna look good. So this is why you turn that on is so you can see exactly how that works. So I'm gonna go back to the Essentials tab and then I'm gonna click on Show Surface. And that's gonna give me my tracking data. This is where I'm actually gonna track. So I, these little corners you can grab. So I'm gonna grab them and I'm gonna pull them to the very corners of the billboard. So I've got them all right there and we've got everything right here. Okay, now we are good to go on this. We've got everything lined up. It looks pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit show surface grid or show grid. And the reason why I wanna do that is because that shows me the perspective. So if I were to adjust this, you can see how the perspective changes with the surface area that's being tracked. So that's why that's important so that you can keep that perspective or these lines perfect with the billboard because that'll make the tracking data look more realistic and it'll look more like uh, a real billboard. So now that I have all of that together, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all of these are selected and that I can see these two things and I'm gonna go ahead and track backwards. So I'm tracking backwards right now. It's gonna go through the whole clip and I'm keeping an eye on the corners to make sure that these aren't slipping or that it's not getting good data, but it looks to me like it's not moving much. It's looking like it's doing pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this save button and then I'm gonna click the red button to close out. And now I have my tracking data. So now what I have to do is I have to apply the tracking data to this clip. So in order to do that, I'm gonna twirl down right here on tracking data and I'm gonna click tree create track data. And then I'm gonna make sure that this cog is selected and layer one is selected. That is where all the information is stored and you'll see as soon as I click that, all of these tracking points are gonna change. 
So I hit OK and now it's changed everything. And if I zoom in here, you can see that the track, the tracking data is now on the corners of each of this. And if it were to play through, you'll see it stays on there. So now that I have that data applied to this clip, I need to superimpose the graphic that I want to go over this clip. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to go to Project. And from Project, I'm gonna click on Expired Listings. And there's two ways you can do this. I'm a pretty big, big advocate of using comps. So you can click over the comp and it will create a new comp. And I have Expired Listings Comp. I'm gonna take that comp, go back to my video footage, and I'm gonna drag this comp over the top of the comp that I had. So now I have my I have my billboard that I'm going to be replacing and I have my comp. So now you can see I've got the track data here and my expired listings comp there. So now that I've done that, I'm going to make sure that I have the video clip selected and from here I'm going to go to corner with motion support. This is the reason I'm doing this is cuz it's moving around a little bit and I want it to look more realistic. And then layer to export to is drop down and expired listing. So I'm taking this data right here that's on this clip and I'm assigning it to this clip. Now once I hit apply export, it's going to take this comp and squeeze it and make it fit on the video uh, billboard that I just did. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply export and now you can see that it pushed everything into that. So now if I were to preview through that, you can see that that billboard is pretty realistic. And that you guys is how you superimpose a billboard or other images on a video file using Mocha AE. I had a lot of fun making this tutorial and hopefully it was beneficial for you. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and a comment below and tell me what you liked about it. Remember, if you have a question, feel free to comment down below and I'd love to chat with you guys. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe.